Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that I've seen when I've typed in the name Corey Perry into the YouTubes is a video titled F Corey Perry, so here's him being a piece of sh for like three minutes. So I'm gonna assume that this guy is nationwide loved by the nation. Also, if you've spotted a bruise here, which I've just spotted about 20 minutes ago, uh, I don't know what it's from. I think it's from weightlifting. But here we are, just in case you think someone's beat me up on the daily. I'm alright! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the worst channel on the YouTube. My name is Adam, and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Corey Perry, top jerk moments. I've seen this guy's name in the comments of one of my last videos, and they told me to do a video on him. So here we are, we're checking out Corey Perry. In my head, I feel like he's going to be another one of these Tom Wilson type players. And it's a dirty brute! What? Twitch? Oh, I, I stream over there most nights. There's a link down below. It's going to take in my Twitch channel. Hit us with a follow. We'll have a great little community over there. And I'm going to be streaming a lot more NHL. So it could be cool if you could come over and join the little community we'll have on there. Again, link below. Let's jump in and see how much of a Corey Perry is. Hit us with I don't know. Soccer player, cheap shot artist, uh -huh. Katy Perry. Oh, and that show, um... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 I feel like I've missed... What is this? Let's see, what comes to mind when I think of Corey Perry? Hmm. Soccer player, cheap shot artist, Katy Perry, oh, and that show, um, Borders? Oh, he's a dirty mother... He loves collecting players' equipment for himself. And in case you didn't see the title, Perry can definitely be a real jerk. A real jerk? From water spraying to stick stealing to countless dirty plays, Perry has made his way to the top of most players' hate lists. I need to know right now from you watching this. Corey Perry, is he a dirt bird? I need to know. Before I get my blood pressure raised, I need to know what I'm in for. Is he hated? I'm gonna watch this video and I'm gonna base my own opinion off of this video. But sometimes videos have this really, really nasty way of making people look bad when they're actually not. So I'm counting on you. Is this guy a dirt bird? Let me know in the comments down below right now. Here are the top 12 jerk moments thus far in Perry's career. Perry's career? Perry's team's losing within the final few minutes of the game. He tends to wreak havoc on anyone and everyone that he can. Oh! And as a subtle way to stick it to the Winnipeg Jets, who had the lead within the final few seconds, shot the puck intentionally he... well after the Oh, uh, no. Of course, infuriated you know basically what? the entire Jets roster. I don't need anybody's opinion anymore. Forget it. I know what type of person he is. I know what type of person he is already, guys. Don't need to know it. He's a dirt bird. In hockey, there's two types on ice that you want to avoid hitting. The guys wearing the pads and the ones in the black and white stripes. Uh -huh. But as you'll quickly realize, in Corey Perry's mind... He doesn't give a shit. Game. As Coyote's goaltender at the time, Louis Demain... Even I know you don't do that, Corey, you ...faced with Perry's less than savory antics. After the puck trickled behind the net, Deming was about to make a routine play with the puck, but wasn't able to due to, you know, taking a check to the chest by none other than Perry himself. He took an uppercut to the chest. Even I know if you mess with a goal, you're about to get got. Alright, you will get got. Think of Corey Perry as the klepto of the NHL. The what? Sticking sticks, gloves, or anything he can snatch from opposing players. He's a weasel. Time, it was Alex Semen who became victim to the stick snatch. He's a weasel. He was about to join the play. Uh huh. I know. Semen was of course incensed and could be seen throwing his arms up in disbelief. I'm sorry. You know you should never base a judgment off somebody, but you see when you see them doing something bad and then you see close-ups of, of their face it makes you realize that you can actually figure out who somebody is just by looking at their face i'm looking at his face now i know he's a prick i know it i just know it. i'm sorry if i've offended anybody but it's true all right stakes are higher intensity's greater and every play counts but for a few seconds all of this common knowledge and sense apparently went out the window as far as corey perry's oh corey what have you done 2018 playoffs, he decided to do a little headhunting while delivering a late hit yeah. Melker Carlson's expense. Did that could kill someone? It could be shown flying and Melker himself tumbling to the ice. That's and rotten! Perry was given a two minute penalty. Two for minutes! Get him off our rank! Now back to another larceny committed by our not so favorite stick stealer. But this time, though, the victim wasn't taken by surprise as Marion Hosa immediately recognized Perry's intention Hosa? and therefore held onto his stick. Oof. 
That definitely sounded explicit. Anyways, after playing this <coughs> stick a bit, posted then relented and decided to let Perry take the Yo, and this is like... Instead, it fell to the ice as Perry skated away. I guess it's just not as fun if there's no opposition. This guy's an arse. <laughs> Yo. Arse! Arse! Also likes to get extracurricular by using his water bottles to taunt the opposing players, and he did just that to Olympic. I'm sure he does. Yo, you know what this reminds me of? You know the guy in school who's just an arse to everyone every day, pulling little pranks, doing stuff that is just annoying. This is him. This is this is Corey Perry. A hundred percent. Ahmad, how you doing? Christian, nice to meet you. Uh huh. Get the elbows. Where's the masks? What's the point with the elbows if there's no masks? First game of the 2013-14 season, things got pretty heated between both head coaches. Oh shit! Look, look at Perry. Oh wait. Who couldn't help himself from getting in the middle of the altercation was, you guessed it, Corey Perry. As Perry made it a point to angle the projection from his water bottle right in Law's direction. This, of course, enraged the Avs players that saw the act, including Ryan O'Reilly and... I, I feel like I missed it when I was taking a drink of goddamn coffee. As Perry made it a point to angle the projection from his water bottle right in Law's direction. I, uh, but did this disappear? The Avs players that saw the act, what is going on? And Cody McLeod. Who were conveniently separated from reaching Perry by the officials. This guy is a nah. I would have it if I was a coach. This is looking it'd be a out. little familiar. Playoff game. Ducks are losing. Oh yeah. There's only. A He's lost his play. shit. And yet another familiarity is seeing Perry yet again take his frustration out on anyone nearby. And this time, even officials weren't exempt from Perry's wrath. As the official who was you guys be honest with me, okay? I, I I like honesty on this chat. Below, if you support this team, I don't even know who it is. Is it the Ducks who he plays for? If you support the team he plays for, do you like him or would you wish him gone from the team? Let me know below because if I support, I'm trying to like be relatable. If he played for my team and his job was to you know wind the other team up, I would probably love him. Probably love him. But seeing it from a neutral standpoint, I can see why he's seen as a bit of a rat. Uh huh. Look at the arm by Perry, who immediately took a cheap shot at Fiddler in result. Fiddler? He be getting so lucky this time. During a regular season game of 2013, after he decided to, for whatever reason, acquaint his elbow with Jason. Uh, nah, get him out. Get him out. I hate looking at this man. Perry was I don't like it. Immediately ejected from the game. Eventually, Zucker was able with help to exit the playing surface, but like Perry, would miss the next game. As Perry, due to his attack, was suspended for the next game. Suspend them for the next game. Yo, this is sick. Okay, San Jose Sharks. Ooh. That is unreal. Okay, I like it. I like it. Mark Edward Blassett. Mark. Head apparently looked at the a lot like a pinata to the Ducks forward, as he could be shown hacking and whacking at Blassett's lid several times. Ye. Are rotten. Perry decided to get a little more risque by going for the one player that you aren't supposed to mess with, the netminder. This time it was Brian Boucher Terrible. who received the senseless jab. Why would you do it? Perry, who was hunched over Boucher, began punching the goaltender in the face and even stomping on him before giving him one more subtle shove as an official could notice. Oh my he days. Enough, though, He's brutal. He's not nice. It's Bobby Boucher! I can't believe. I, I can't believe this one. Just let me. Can't believe what I've seen. 
be the ducks forward. Oh! I don't know if that was Corey Perry or she was talking about one of his teammates, but whoever done that deserves a, uh, there's a dark corner in hell reserved for him. Lord in heavens! Either way, Corey Perry, my judgment on you and review of you and the way you play in the NHL is bro! Not nice at all. But ladies and gentlemen, we got this point in this video, I'd like to thank you. Uh, and if you guys want me to do a video on anybody in the NHL, please leave a comment down below. I would love to do it. I hope you have a great week. And before you go, please hit that little red button down below if you haven't yet. It says subscribe. Subscribe if you hit it. That would be great. Okay? See you later.